What's going on guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make another lo-fi beat from scratch. This time we're going to do it live, so I'm not just going to show you the full beat I've already done. Make one right now, and yeah, let's see. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take down the BPM to like, I don't know, 84, something like that. And just put down some chords with the uh, Lounge Lizard. I got this preset right here, and uh, I got the scales B minor down, so let's see what we can do. So as you can see, I put down these chords right here. I've copied them over, and uh, I'm just gonna mess with these over here, and just to switch it up a bit and see how it sounds after that. Okay, so I got this melody right here. Got these chords down. Uh, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just press Control, drag over all of them, and then I press Alt R, uh, which makes it like randomize them. So that note, so I'm just gonna mess with the velocity a bit, so it sounds more like real and not fake. So I'm gonna accept that, and after that I'm gonna press Control S, which like strums it, and uh, I'm just gonna see what sounds the best. See how much. I want to strum it and uh, yeah okay so that's that um, next thing I'm gonna do is I've got it rooted to this uh, channel right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put some RC20 on there uh, some EQ and some reverb just to you know get that lo-fi feeling in there and make space for the drums with the EQ so as you can see that's the settings I got for the RC20 next up I'm gonna put some EQ on there I might just mess with the presets a bit because I don't know I'm not sure if I like this yet okay so I've changed the preset and uh, chosen this one right here so this is how it sounds now So yeah, that's how that's sounding. What I'm going to do next, I'm going to put a melody on top of the chords and see how that comes out. So I've got on this uh, top melody right here. Probably now I'm going to do is just copy over and switch up again like I did before. Okay, so i got the melody on the top right now. Sounding pretty good. What I'm first going to do before I play it again, I'm also going to randomize it like this. So let's make it sound good. And what I'm not going to do this time is strum it because... I don't know, just I'm not going to do that. And uh, yeah, this is how it sounds now. So now that I have that, what I'm also going to quickly do is export it here. Quick render as audio clip, as you can see. Now after I've done that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it adjust. There we go. To the same part as it was before. After that, double click on the sample. Edit in audio editor. And then uh, what I'm going to do here on sample rate, I'm going to press right click and change it to like 2000 or 1000 and just see how it sounds. And if it doesn't sound good, then I'm not going to keep it. If it does, then we'll keep it and see. I also press resample and tempo sync and then see how it comes out. Play up here to see if it's good or not. I'm going to try 3000, see if that's better. Okay, that sounds good. What I'm going to probably use this is just like for like the intro or something. Not sure yet, so uh, just going to keep that here for now and we'll mess with that later. So now that we have the uh, melody, what I'm going to do next is uh, start with the drums. I might add some other melodies after, but for now I'm going to get the drums going and see if there's any space for anything else. So yeah. So we got the simple drums down here. Just quickly go through them. You know, we got the hi hats here, easy, just up and down like that. We got the kick here. Um, this is what the pattern looks like for there. Got another hi hat that looks like this. And when you put them all together, they sound like this. So now we're gonna put down a perk and uh, yeah, a few more extra things. See what we get. So 
but I've pretty much added everything now for the drums what I'm looking for now is maybe like I don't know exactly what I'm looking for just something small to like for an intro or just for like a bridge so maybe like I'll add some some more drums maybe I'll add some little melody now not sure yet uh, we'll see So I forgot to add the bass before, which is obviously also quite important for the drums. What I did was I just copied the root notes from the chords that I had before, just pasted them in here, and uh, used a simple 808 I had. This is how it came out. So yeah, what I did now is I just added a um, Electra X, just a little bell, just to give that little atmosphere in the background. Um, this is how it sounds like. So yeah, that's that. Uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, lay it out. So I'm going to press here and split by channel. Then I'm just going to put these all on here on the track. And uh, we're going to lay it out, see how it comes out. Uh, so here I have it laid out. I think that's good enough for now. That's just like a quick layout right here. So yeah, what I did pretty much was I just took that rendered out um, melody that I showed you, put that at the start, added the bells too for the beginning. I also changed the kick pattern after. I don't know, it just wasn't hitting right for me. I also added an automation clip at the bottom with the love filter, with the shaky effect you can get out of there. That sounds like this. That comes in the middle and uh, after that it just uh, kicks back in here again and it just continues the bells come in here again and uh yeah after that it's pretty much done just uh, took the drums in and out a bit it just ends with the rendered out melody again yeah that's it added my tag and i was done so if you enjoyed this video leave a like uh subscribe and uh, check out my other tutorials also check out my main channel with my beats on there and uh yeah peace